Um, over the past two days, I've been meeting with members of U4 in Camp Butmir and discussing the latest achievements and future aims uh, that the mission has throughout Bosnia and Herzegovina. As operational commander, I'm proud of the contribution we've made so far to the professionalization of the armed forces of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Our main effort remains the capacity building and training of the armed forces of Bosnia and Herzegovina. We have a robust program in place which, in close partnership with the armed forces of Bosnia and Herzegovina, will continue to support progress in areas such as engineering, demining, and disaster relief operations. Um, as part of this collaboration, this October, U4 and the armed forces of Bosnia and Herzegovina will again conduct the annual exercise quick response. This exercise takes place every year and demonstrates the ability of U4 to both conduct peace support operations alongside the armed forces of Bosnia and Herzegovina and to bring additional personnel from U4 nations into the exercise. The U4 multinational battalion and immediate reserve companies will both be taking part. Developing the capacity and capabilities of the armed forces of Bosnia and Herzegovina is a key task for U4, and combined activities such as exercise quick response are important in the effort to attain the highest international military standards in line with the concept of the dual use of forces. Last year, the planned exercise changed radically as both U4 and the armed forces of Bosnia and Herzegovina used their personnel and resources to assist in the response to the devastating flooding of 2014. The flexibility to change from peace support operations to disaster relief is central to the dual use of forces concept, and what became Operation Joint Effort gave a real-life example of crisis response. The selflessness and courage displayed during this period by U4 and the armed forces of Bosnia and Herzegovina soldiers was a great example of the benefits and potential of our partnership. This year, the exercise will focus on peace support operations and will take place in Manjaca between the 13th and the 22nd of October, with U4 personnel hosted by the armed forces of Bosnia and Herzegovina at their barracks. In the long-term planning of this exercise, Manjaca has been chosen as it has an area large enough to both accommodate the soldiers taking part and allow space for the exercise itself. So we're looking forward to a productive exercise in the autumn, and um, we hope very much that it won't be interrupted like the last one and see us diverted to deal with a real situation. But, of course, we're always ready. <laughs>